Great, so I um, just want to talk to you a little bit about fiber and lint transmission today. And um, I've done a fair amount of research on this, so hopefully I can uh, bring some alternative ideas to the cath lab. So um, these are my disclosures. I'm the president and founder of Cintervention, and I uh, consult for three other companies. Um, when I started uh, coming up with this problem, I had to do a literature search just to see if we actually had a problem. And uh, there's about 25 peer-reviewed journal articles out there in the literature. And we did a, a very exhaustive search on that. Um, and then we looked at the pathology. Dr. Vermani's actually been working with me on this. So as you can see in this uh, first slide on the left, we actually get a granuloma in a swine coronary about 90 days out in a uh, coronary stent model. And then in the, you can actually see the uh, little white particles here. And uh, using a polarized light, we're actually able to see the fibers in the coronary. Um, actually, in this top right slide, you also see some fiber as well. Um, we eliminated starch a long time ago in the gloves, um, and so we're, we're trying to do the same thing with the fiber. Um, this is actually a coronary um, pig model, and we actually found that towel fibers in the coronary, and actually you can see on this right-hand side, they actually uh, coronary stent struts. So what are the culprits? Four by fours and gauze, uh, cotton towels, and actually surgical drapes. Um, this is just a regular picture of a 4x4 of a, uh, four four right out of the package. You can actually see the fiber on the top. And as just, just note this one thing, that it's woven. So in 1984, Dr. Bookstein actually came up with an article. He was an interventional radiologist saying that telpa pads were actually better, but you can see that it's actually just a plastic coated cotton ball. So we get a fair amount of fiber from that as well. And this is the typical way we see people actually drape a table these days. So we're actually lying a lot of things on top of the towels. And actually, the drape materials are actually uh, very linty as well. So transmission, we get it through wiping, we get it through gloves, and we get it through contact. Because actually, when you wipe your gloves off with all these products, it trans the fiber does transfer to your gloves. Uh, entry point, interventional device, open wound, and people still dunk uh, gauze or telpa pads in saline. They drop the uh, uh, saline with a syringe, and you actually flush your sheets out, that, out with that or a catheter. So I still see that out in the field. So you're actually injecting fiber into the patient that way. Complications, thrombosis, infection, adhesions, restenosis, granulomas, and allergic reactions. These are just some of the cases that I've uh, been able to retrieve. I got this from Dr. Cavro. So we have a choice PT guide wire here with a clear ray balloon, and we're snow plowing the gauze right down the wire. Here's a fiber that was transferred from a glove right onto a stent. I know everybody touches the stent when you're actually uh, putting it onto a guide wire. Here's a fiber that was actually um, retrieved from a lady that, ha uh, that actually was stented, came back two hours with chest pain, and we have almost a two centimeter fiber out of her coronary. We all use filter wires these days, and uh, filter wires, there's one that actually captures up to 100 microns, and everybody else is about 150. But everything less than 150 microns is actually getting through the filter. And you can actually see the fiber in the filter from the gauze. Here's a, a stent that was just placed on a towel. And we actually have a fiber on the stent. I hope you can see that. That's from a towel. Um, you know, people tell me that we can't see it. Well, the problem is most of the fiber is actually less than 30 microns in size. I'll show you the data here in a second. So we really can't see it going on. Here's the actual data. So a cotton gauze is about 30,000 particulate at 10 microns. And then we actually looked at the telpa pad as well, because that seems to be the alternative that people have gone to. It's about 28,000 at 10 microns. But you can see we get an average of about 15, 100 micron particles off the telpa pad. Here's the actual cotton towel. We get about 327,000 fibers from just a regular old blue towel. And most Cath labs I see use about six to eight towels per case. So we're, this is another way for actually the fiber and lint to get into the case. Conclusion here, literature shows us that we actually, um, we have the data. We, you know, we show that we have complications. The cotton uh, producing manufacturing scientists actually tell us not to use the product. We, there's literature out there. Um, the medical device manufacturers, now that I'm actually producing a medical device, we have to go through a very strict particulate count during the manufacture of the device. So think about this. We do all this work on the front end, but when we deliver the device to you guys, we're opening the device up and exposing it to all this fiber. 
and then the fiber contamination is actually recognized, obviously in the pathology community. And thank you very much. Great. Uh,